Dirt riding tends to be a team sport. It just isn't the same if you don't have a pile of riding buddies laughing at you when you crash. But some riders do go out by themselves. Maybe no one else is available. Or maybe you like the solitude, freedom and independence that comes with solo riding. But of course it can go wrong, badly. I know a guy who went for a quick midweek ride in the nearby state forest. He was only 30 minutes from his house when he broke his pelvis and couldn't move. No water, no food, no phone reception in this valley. No one knew he was riding. After three days, someone finally rode down this obscure dirt road and saw him. The doctors say he would have probably died in the next 20 hours. Then another local rider ran off the side of the mountain and his body wasn't found until six weeks later. This is only 15 minutes from the city limits. Seriously, nasty stuff. So what can we do to make solo rides safer and less stressful? The most obvious tip, if it's remote riding, be like a pilot, lodge a flight plan. Tell someone where you are going, when you expect to be back. If you deviate from the plan, text them to let them know. And of course, it's best to start early and finish early. Next, stay within your comfort zone. Prevention is better than cure. Our resident paramedic, the Vanilla Gorilla, says ride well within your limits when alone and then ride hard when you have riding buddies to get your bleeding carcass to the hospital. Your bike, keep it well maintained. Research the known issues about your model. Ride something you can lift by yourself. Are you new to dirt riding? Start on something lighter and lower powered. This stuff really is all just self-explanatory. A good toolkit. How much you carry depends on how remote you will be riding. If you Google adventure riding toolkits, you will get some really good detailed info from solo riders who really know their stuff. A first aid kit. Basic first aid kits are usually fine for day rides. The longer and more remote it gets, you may want an advanced kit. But you will also probably need a first aid course to know how to use the advanced shit. Here are some basic suggestions. And check out suggestions on the ADV Rider forum. Riders who are paramedics have some really good detailed info for the serious solo rider. Protective gear. Riding solo means you really want the best gear possible. Personally, I wear the best quality motocross boots possible, just to minimise the chance of foot and leg fractures. <laughs> Ask me how I know what those feel like. Middle-aged guys, consider some type of armour for your chest. Research shows thoracic injuries are quite high for us guys once over 40 years of age. Consider putting next of kin details and any allergies printed on your helmet. Think about bright riding colours for your riding gear that are easily seen by search and rescue teams. There is heaps of useful info out there, again, just Google it. Food, water and accommodation. When riding solo, you want to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. If you crashed off the track and can't move and there's no phone reception, how long can you survive? Always carry a decent amount of water and maybe some energy bars too. How bad could the weather potentially get? A space blanket can keep you warm and keep the rain off you. And if it could potentially get really cold, consider thermal underwear rolled up inside your gear. Think about water purification tablets and insect repellent in your first aid kit. Some guys even carry a pair of sneakers so they can walk back home if they are miles from anywhere. Electronics to the rescue. Thankfully, there are all sorts of stuff out there to, to prevent us being stranded for days without help. Your cell phone. Pick a decent phone and a plan with the widest possible coverage. Install GPS and tracker apps so that someone can see where you are as long as there is phone coverage. Also have a dedicated GPS unit on your bike 
just use the phone as a backup GPS. If you are getting really remote, check out personal locator beacons and emergency transmitters like EPIRB and SPOT. You can get satellite communicators for communication anywhere on the planet. Remember, keep that device accessible. For example, if you can only move one arm after a bad accident, you might not be able to get your backpack off and rummage through to find your device. Make sure you keep your devices charged via a USB outlet on your bike. This is a huge area with electronics. Just do your research. Riding tips when stuck. Carry a tow rope. Consider a pulley system or mini winch to drag your bike out of a mud hole or back up onto the road. Can't get traction? Drop your rear tyre pressure down very low for a big footprint and heaps of traction. See our training vid on the Enduro channel, Riding Tips When Stuck. Have you got extra tips? Let us know and we'll add them to the list. I know it can be a downer looking through this list because dirt riding is meant to be about fun and chilling. But if you are riding by yourself, there are the risks of course. So just look through all of these details, pick and choose the stuff that works for you in your situation. It really makes sense to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst.